Have you been wondering how to solve for x in this type of math Olympiad question? Then you are at the right place. Let's do this together and you are going to understand it in a step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay? Now, in a particular in this particular question, we are asked to solve for the value of x. Let's simplify this by saying that a should be equal to this first term, which is x over 1, x minus 1 over x raised to the power of what? Half. Now, if we should square both sides of this equation, we will have that a squared is equal to x minus 1 over x, right? Okay, now let's call this equation 1. Similarly, similarly, we are going to say let a, let b equals this. 1 minus 1 over x raised to the power of half. Now, similarly, if we square both sides of this equation, we have that b squared is equal to 1 minus 1 over x. Now, we are going to call this equation 2. Okay, if we say let a equals this and b equals this, that means we can rewrite this equation as what? We can rewrite it as a plus b is equal to x. Now, let's call this equation 3 because all these equations will be needed somewhere. So, I need to bring in, I want to bring in difference of two squares here. Okay? Because I've seen square, I have a value for my a square and I have a value for my b square. So, let's introduce, dif um, let's introduce difference of two squares here. And if we do that, that can only be introduced if we should multiply both sides of this equation by a minus b. Okay? So if we say a minus b multiplied by a plus b is equal to x multiplied by a minus b. Now, this is the difference of two squares we are looking for. So we can write that a squared minus b squared, this is an identity that is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. All right. So we have this already here. So we can relate that this is equal to this. That means we can rewrite this equation as what? a squared minus b squared is equal to x bracket a minus b. Okay. Um, now, um, let's divide both sides of this equation by what? By x. If we do that, we have a squared minus b squared divided by x is equal to a minus b. Okay. Now, recall that our a squared is what? x minus 1 over x raised to the power x minus 1 over x. So we, are, we will write x minus 1 over x minus our b is 1 minus 1 over x, okay? 1 minus 1 over x is equal to a minus b. Remember, this is divided by x. Okay, now we have that what? x minus 1 over x. Minus times 1 will give us minus 1. And minus times minus will give us plus. And we have what? 1 over x. All right. Divided by x is equal to a minus b. Now, minus 1 over x plus 1 over x is 0. So we are left with x minus 1 over x is equal to a minus b. All right. Now, this can be written as x over x minus 1 over x is equal to a minus b. Right? Yeah, because x minus x divided by x is what? 1. So we have 1 minus 1 over x is equal to a minus b. So let's call this equation 4. Okay? All right. Now, permit me to write this a bit. All right. Now, recall we have a minus b to be 1 minus 1 over x. Okay? And a plus b is equal to x. Now, if we should add equation 3 and equation 4, we'll be able to cancel out b. Okay, so let's do that. So, equation 3 plus equation 4, that should be equation 3 says that a plus b is equal to x. And equation 4 says that a minus b is equal to 1 minus 1 over x. Okay, so if we should add... If we should add them together, we have a plus a will give us 2a, all right? b minus b plus minus b is 0, so we've removed b. 
then is equal to x plus what? 1 minus 1 over x. Okay, so we have 2a, all right, is equal to, let's bring this minus 1 over x to this side. So we have x minus 1 over x plus 1. Now 2a is equal to, recall that x minus 1 over x is equal to a. Yeah, recall. X minus, sorry, is equal to a squared. X minus 1 over x is equal to a squared. So we are going to substitute that here. So we have a squared plus 1. Now, you can see that we are forming, we just formed a quadratic equation. So let's rearrange it properly. Now, if we do that, we will have that a squared minus 2a plus 1. Yeah, plus 1 is equal to 0. A squared, this minus 2a, we this plus 2a, we cross to be minus 2a. This plus 1 is already in this side. Is equal to what? 0. Now, we were, by factorization, we don't even need the quadratic equation formula. Yeah, because we're looking at it by factorization method. If we look for two values of, uh, two factors of 1, that when we add, we get minus 2. It's just minus 1 and minus 1. So we can re replace this minus 2a with what? With what? Minus a minus another a. Because minus a minus a will give you minus 2a. All right? Plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we have, by grouping, the factor this and this, what do they have in common? They have a in common. So if we bring that a out, a squared divided by a, we are going to have a minus a divided by a is 1, all right? Now here, they don't have anything in common. That means their common factor is 1, right? So we have minus 1 bracket, minus a divided by minus 1, we get a. Then plus 1 divided by minus 1, we get minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now notice that we are going to have a minus 1, a minus 1 in brackets. So we have a minus 1, all right? multiplied by a minus 1 again is equal to 0. Now, no need of solving this because if we solve this, a minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, let's solve one bracket. We have that a minus 1 is equal to 0. That implies that what? Now, let's continue here. Okay. So, we have that a minus 1 is equal to 0. So this implies that our a is equal to 1. That means that if we solve this, if we solve this, you are going to get the same value for a. So we have 1 as a value of a twice, okay? So our a is equal to 1 twice. Okay, now also recall where we got that our a is equal to x minus 1 over x to the power of half, right? So we can now rewrite that this, that is x, minus 1 over x raised to the power of half is equal to this 1. Now let's square both sides of the equation to remove this. Okay? And if we do that, we have that x minus 1 over x is equal to what? 1. Because 1 squared is still 1. Now if we solve this, we are going to have the LCM of this and this is x. Okay? Now let's solve 1 divided by x, if 1 divides x, we still have x. x times x is x squared. Now, when x divides x, we have 1. 1 times minus 1 is still minus 1. is equal to 1. So, this is what we are going to have. All right? Now, let's cross multiply. x times 1 will give us x is equal to x squared minus 1 times 1. Because this is same thing as 1 over 1. Right? So x squared minus 1 times 1 will still give us x squared minus 1. Now we have another um, quadratic equation, which is what? x squared. Now this plus x we cross to become minus x. Minus 1 is equal to 0. Now if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't forget. In fact, please subscribe now and click on your notification bell, okay? So that you'll be notified anytime we, up we upload a new video. Like I said, just come down, you're going to see the wonderful results you're going to get from this. Yes, it's a very lovely result.
Okay, so let's solve this now. So we have that x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, using the quadratic equation formula, our x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of what? b squared minus 4ac divided by what? 2a. Now, in this case, our a is equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is minus 1, that is coefficient of x. And our c is our constant, which is minus 1. So let's substitute them into this, into this formula. So we are going to have that x is equal to minus b, that is minus times minus 1, right? It's going to be plus 1. So we have 1 here. Plus or minus square root of... Now b squared is minus 1 squared, which should give us 1. All right, minus... 4 times, let me just do it here, 4 times a, our a is 1, which will still give us what? 4. So 4 times 1 is 4 times c, which is minus, or which will give us minus 4. So we are going to have minus 4 here, all right, divided by 2 times a, our a is 1, so 2 times 1 is still 2. So we have that our x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5. Because minus times minus will give us plus, okay? So, square root of 5 over 2. Are you seeing anything? Yes, that's why I said you should wait. Because you'll be happy to notice that we have two values for our x. The first one is that x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, which is called the golden ratio, all right? Yes, the golden ratio. Now, the second one is that x is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. 1 minus root 5 over 2, that is going to be the negative of the reciprocal of the golden ratio. But, but if you solve this, you are going to get a negative value for this, all right? And for the fact that we have two square roots here, there is no way our x is what? Negative. So that means that this cannot be a solution, okay? It cannot satisfy this equation. So finally, the solution to this particular equation is the golden ratio, which is that x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.